Hello everyone and welcome back, welcome to my another playlist. I mean I already have this playlist which talks about hacker rank certifications. I'm going to add a couple of more videos like uh, certification on CSS, certification on Node.js basics, SQL and uh, problem solving, JavaScript intermediate and basics. All these certifications I'm also going to add. And I'm going to do all those certifications on the live hacker rank portal so you will also get to understand okay how to attempt the quiz how to attempt these certification questions how to run the test cases and how to get certified okay i mean these certifications are dynamic so you will have you will be facing a multiple questions i mean these are like on the rotation basis which i see okay my earlier questions won't be visible for the next attempt and you can't you can't do multiple attempts it's like a one time I mean this there is a time duration I think six months or so after that you can attempt again okay so what I will do is I will start from the basics like angular or I can start from the bottom let's say the SQL basics then SQL intermediate and then whatever I'm familiar with like I'm not a I'm not a Python or uh, Python or Java developer and also go I'm not familiar with those so I will just be covering uh, REST API, SQL, Node.js, JavaScript, Angular, React, uh, SQL, all these concepts we can talk about. Okay, uh, let's get started. Okay guys, uh, let's start it with SQL basics and proceed, I will just fill up the and matrix rewards and the country codes. Okay, these are the two questions. Now we need, we have like 30 minutes. This is the question one and this is the question two so first we will see okay Let, let's talk about the question one then okay so what do we have in the question one if we just see first of all we have to go to the schemas and the output tables employee information and the last quarter bonus these are the two tables we have let's read the question on the basis of the merit, a company decides to promote some of the employees in its HR division at the end of the quarter because of their high performance. Write a query to find the employee IDs along with the name of all its employees who work in the HR department. So department name is HR who earned a bonus of $5,000 or more. It is greater than and equal to in the last quarter. Okay, so we have like two tables. which probably will be a join, right? There are two tables employee information last quarter bonus and their primary keys are employee id same employee id and this is a simple example like the department should be hr hr department is for the julia and uh, their bonus should be greater than or equal to 5000 so the answer should be for this particular case is if it's the employee id the hr right and what we are saying is their bonus should be bonus of five thousand dollar or more in the last quarter okay so we have these two tables let's talk about this these are the two employees working in the hr department with ids one and three that is correct however one employee with id three has a bonus greater than five thousand hence the information about that employee is displayed yes this particular id uh, richard whose bonus is six two four zero id is same three okay so here we can write a query how, how we write a join select uh, employee id select employee id and the name this is what we need and what we need these two information from employee information is the table name you can copy the table name So here I can do is employee employee information here we need to apply a join and how we do it select star from this table join uh, select star from table and then join and join the, the table name of the join table is last quarter bonus last quarter bonus on right so here in this particular case we can create alias okay from employee information ei and i can say is employee information dot id 
and ei.name because these two information we need employee id and the name and join last quarter bonus on and here we can create alias b on b dot employee id b dot employee id should be equals to ei employee information dot employee id right where now we need to add a where clause where ei employee information dot division division like hr i mean just exact string so we can just compare hr and we have another information is b which is the bonus right from coming from the last quarter bonus table b dot bonus b dot bonus should be greater than 5000 okay so this is a kind of query we need and please append the semicolon at the end of the query so we should be good bonus we have the where condition with the department and the bonus amount should be greater than and equal to 5000 okay here you can see so i need to add a proper condition greater than and equal to run the query if query syntax is correct then it will execute and it will also run the test cases i think we have some syntax error comma is missing here now run the query okay test case is passed okay we can submit this now we have we are inside a second problem statement second problem statement is about country codes okay guys so this is the question my question got time out due to internet now i have to show it like this i will also submit it with another account okay the problem statement is the country codes this is second one once first one we have already submitted right the company wants to contact each and every customer regarding the policy change there are two tables customers and the country codes the first table contains the details of every customer the second contains the country code so here's a, here is the query we have to write. Write a query to retrieve the list of customer IDs, name and phone number with the country codes concatenated with their phone number and sort the output with the customer ID. So let's see what are the tables and you can see the phone number. Country codes concatenated with the phone numbers and the phone number with their country codes that means the phone number the the phone number should be following like this so phone number will not be like okay give the phone number from this table it will be concatenation from this table so there are two tables this is the foreign key this is the primary key and here we have a country code so looks like we just need to do a join right so what we can do is we can select we can write a simple select select customer id and name comma phone number and this is from customer and here we have to do a join join customers with country codes so this is like from customer and now we have to do a join with the country codes to get the codes sorry not here show you country codes join on now it's good if we can create alias like from customer let's call it the ccu cu dot customer id cu dot name cu dot phone number from customer cu join country codes which is cc on cc dot country now because we know inside a country code there is a country is the primary key which is a foreign key inside the customers column right customers table so our simple join will be cc dot country should be equal to cu customer dot country and we need to get the the codes country codes from this 
and let's say order by cu dot country id but here the the specific request is about getting the phone number look like this so how can we do this we have to use the concat operator so here instead of this simple what we are going to get is we are going to use a concat operator concat plus and we have to get the country code from country codes table country code concat this with the customer dot phone number this will be alias as phone number I mean the column name now this becomes our complete query we are getting customer ID name and the phone number from customers table and where the join exists with the country codes we are just checking from the country which is a primary key inside a country code should match with the foreign key of the customer table and the order by country ID sorry it should be I think customer ID okay and for getting the phone number we are doing concat the phone number should be concated with the plus the study code or sorry the country code and then we are concating all these three and creating alias as a phone number okay so I will execute this on my other account and we'll see if this is able to pass our test cases on the hacker rank and I will also cover a couple of more examples of the basic certification because what happens is when you do attempt the basic certification it gives you a lot of questions from the pool right it will randomly select two questions and it will give you so I may also cover a couple of more questions on the basic certification only uh, hi guys so let's try to another problem I mean I try to see that like if you try to log in again will you see the different set of questions and I think this profitable stocks is something different and you will try to solve it so this is about profitable stocks and what it says is let's see the, the question now these are the schema price today and price tomorrow this is a sample data table and let's read the question a stock is considered profitable if it is predicted price is strictly greater than the current price write a query to find the stock codes of all the stocks which are profitable based on this definition and sort the output in the ascending order there are two tables price today and price price tomorrow the primary key is a stock code that is same right so we know that we have to write a join between these two tables and we need to return only that result where the price tomorrow uh, where the price predicted price means tomorrow price is slightly greater than the current price and code is similar right okay so we have to write a join select so we have to return the stock code stock code and uh, what we need to return the output let's see here we need to return the stock code and the only just the stock codes right okay so we just need to select a stock code from a particular table from which table we are looking at the price today okay and we need to do a join price today join with price tomorrow price today join price tomorrow on now we need to see is a stock code right so we can create alias from price today so we'll call it as a pt price tomorrow we can call it as a pto and we can say that pt dot stock code from price today pt join price tomorrow pto on here we will add our condition pto dot what is common stock code stock code is same as pt dot stock code okay this is the condition and now you need to add a where close where pto price tomorrow dot price should be greater than pt dot price 
simple price okay this makes our condition true uh, we query to find stock codes all the stocks which are profitable based on the definition and the definition is the price price comparison we are doing and we have to check the stock code should be equal in the join pt dot price is greater than pt dot price also we can add order by what is the pt dot uh, stock code ascending order let's check sort the output in ascending order right and the primary key is this here also we can see this is in the ascending order now let's run the query okay looks like this is the correct answer and we can submit this country codes i think we have already solved this country code and phone number right this we have already solved so so these are all the questions about the the v6 certifications okay now what we will do is we will go to the sql intermediate and we'll uh, fix the other problems this query we have already seen like the country code problem right where we have to concat the country code with the phone number uh, before this particular problem and here is the query this we have already seen i am just executing this query to show you uh, the tab that test cases are passing you can see we have to select the country customer id name and the concat this is the logic additional logic we have to do we have to get the phone number with the country code concated with the plus symbol so we have to use the concat operator in the mysql query and rest is just a join we have the country uh, uh, as a call join column and we just need to do a join between the customers and the country code stable and we have to do the order by customer id if you can also see the sample schema and the sample data how it is happening we have to return the output like this customer id uh, the name and the phone number phone number with the country code concatenated on the same output we are getting so this is just like we have covered three different 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 queries for the basic certification there may be some random questions but now after looking at these examples i think you will be able to do will you be able to get the basic certification it's all about doing the join and putting a particular condition and adding a order by statement okay thanks everyone